Okay, here's a, another one of our videos that um, this is quite an interesting one, uh, and one that we've been using with people with severe knee problems, you know, like things that you would see with um, severe osteoarthritis, and um, you know, uh, usually we see with older adults a balance and uh, walking d difficulty. Um, this is a great drill to sort of teach them how to weight shift to improve their balance so they can walk better, um, but also how they can. Um, move without pain so if i'm going to show you this firstly it's like a deadlifting pattern we, we use the wall to help them with their balance so we're eliminating stability as a as a factor in not getting the movement right so more or less cheating on it so this first part here i'm just demonstrating um, to them how to use the wall to sort of get a deadlifting pattern so that they so that they don't hurt their knee so if i just take that back a bit um, so there, we're basically like most deadlifts, trying to get like as close to a vertical shin as possible. And we're teaching them to get the hip action of moving back. So we're, we're really wanting to get work done into the glute and hamstring region and avoiding this knee going forward. Because if it goes forward, pain is going to go into there straight away. All right, so by learning, and, and this is a funny thing is, people who have knee pain tend to move um, by just bending their knees all the time, which is why it always hurts. So, so firstly, we teach them how to get this hip hinging action. Once they've got that, then we can start to move into where we're now starting to teach them weight shifting, which is what you need when you walk. So, so now we're starting to move out to the. This is basically like a lateral lunge. So you're moving out to the right and then out to the left, and starting to place weight onto one leg. All right. So you're starting to learn how I can place weight on one leg without it placing it into my knee. And you can see here my hip action going backwards all the time. And I'm not, I'm, so the, the cue is don't go down. So don't move into the knee by going down, go backward. All right, so you're really trying to get that emphasize going back. All right, uh, and very minimal knee movements, all hip movement. Then once you've, they have the idea of that, then we start to take them into the um, where we start to place the weight on the stance leg. So if you see here, my weight is left on this left leg on the other side, and I'm only going to touch the ground with my right foot. I'm not actually going to put my weight on there. So I'm learning to actually stay in stance phase, but because my hands are still on the wall, I can... Um, I can significantly make my balance easier. All right, so now I can start to learn how to get this and no knee movement. All right, so there's very little knee movement. It's all hip action. All right, so, and this again leads into the gait phase and they'll start to develop some better strategies of moving and getting their glutes to strengthen. I'm just going to show you this last part of that from behind to sort of get an idea of what that looks like because it's easy to see here. So you can see here now my leg, all my weight is being left on this left leg. So I'm trying to maintain an alignment and with all my weight staying on that leg so that I can move my other leg. All right, now the whole time I'm, I'm keeping that deadlifting sort of action back. All right, and now I'm just moving to my right leg. All right, so stance is, is really huge emphasis on here. And no, no knee movement of any kind. All right, so it's a quite a simple drill, and uh, you know anyone with um, difficulties with their knee moving, this can be a good one to help you. It's not going to cure you, but it's definitely going to give you better strategies in moving, and in particular walking. So even people who just have difficulty walking, this is a, a great drill you can use. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed that. We'll see you on our next one.